Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about what I am doing to get my rack skills done in um, with using Skype. The, I've tried doing racks with range when I first tried it only about a month ago and I had a, I just could not kill him so I, tried, I switched to Skype and I found that my DPS was the problem and um, Skype was able to do the job for me and since then I've been killing with Skype and uh, so in this skill here, uh, usually I forget to use anticipation, um, which is very useful. Anticipation and freedom to avoid, uh, not to avoid the, just the cleave attack, but mainly to reduce the damage you get from free, um, the cocoon attack, which I just uh, had. And you can see that I, because I used um, anticipation, I was able to reduce the damage. Now you can see that the sky DPS, DPS is pretty crazy. I mean, we're approaching. If it wasn't for that cobweb attack, we'll be approaching about 35 to 30k left. If and the bur and the web is nearly not burnt out. Um, and I'm not a master of DPS, and you can see that I'm not using revolution. I, I am using revolution. Sorry, um, I don't use manual. But if you use manual, you're probably going to be even faster. Now, um, this is not like a guide or anything, uh, it's just me talking about what I'm doing and how I'm, when I'm actually so inexperienced in PBM, I'm what, some people have asked how I'm managing to get these guy kills um, easier than my range. Um, well, basically, you can see what I'm, that it's, I don't know, working like a charm for me. Um, with range, I don't have as much success. I just uh you know i just find it a little bit harder because the dps is a little bit less um and i would all i don't always use surge to um uh, when the phase one ends i use surge to go into path two which is phase two and when the minions spawn um i've made a small error here where i haven't gone straight for the mirror back and it's best to go straight for the mirror back because if your area of effect attack that the sky normally does um you know, hits the main spider, Araxel, then you'll get reflected that damage as well. And it can be quite heavy as well. It's a lot of damage, so you don't want that. So go straight for the mirror back as soon as you see it. Now, when the spiders come, don't actually go straight for them except for the pulsing and the mirror back. Um, just sort of position yourself near them and uh, avoid the bladed spiders because they will just come to you. Um, with the spitting and the imbued spiders, just, um, you know, run to them, stand next to them right don't use your any abilities on them or especially threshold abilities just use uh, hurricane and quake to get rid of them and you can see how because I've been doing that I've been able to get rid of them quite quickly I made a small error in this one where um, I was supposed to kill the pulsing spider with my quake attack but I didn't he sort of got away um, and now he's healing the spider, the main spider, for quite a while, and it took me a while to notice. So it kind of ruined the speed of the kill here. Usually my kills are about seven to eight minutes long on path one and path two being open, and about six minutes long when path one is closed. Path one because of these minion spiders tend to be really long for me, and uh, I tend to use not, uh, I tend to avoid using bruise in uh, early on. I, I like, I prefer to use the sharks or the rock tails, whichever I carry. Usually it's sharks. The reason is because uh, I want to save my bruise to build up adrenaline against um, Arax or Araxi in the last 25% of the Araxi reason because is because Araxi brings down your adrenaline to zero and she and if I keep eating sharks I'm not going to be able to do a threshold attack on her usually I have an adrenaline pot as well so I can do that last 25% really quickly um, I'll talk a bit more about that later on um, so as you can see I've cleared up all the spiders I believe or maybe there's one more wave to go, come as well but um, um, just remember that there are four four waves that come with the spiders. The first wave is when is each each wave is five spiders. In the first wave, the third spider is going to be the special spider, so the pulsing or the mirror back. In the second wave, it's the second spider. In the third wave, it's the first spider, and the fourth wave you don't get any specials. Okay, so you can see that I've 
brought the life downs life points down to 5k. If it's under 1k, that um, Araxa won't heal at all, so that's kind of nice. And I, I run far away, and I usually use devotion around here. Um, and oh, when the green acid, acid spiders spawn, I click on them, I lure them, but I don't actually try and lure them straight away. This one, luckily or fortunately, was under uh, the Arax Araxol. So he just sort of exploded and died, um, got absorbed, I should say. Um, always watch out for the main, the big spiders, uh, the bomb spiders, sorry, uh, acidic spiders. Um, and just focus on DPS. Just avoid every five attacks, just sort of wait for something and try and, uh, you know, avoid it. So just then the cocoon attack ha happened and because I didn't anticipate or use freedom, I had to suffer quite a bit of damage. And that's something I need to improve on as well. It's 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 not really just skill that's getting me through this. It's purely just the DPS. So what I've done here is use Surge to get to the other side of Raxo so I can lure the Green Spider. Again, I didn't use Anticipation or Freedom. And uh, usually when the right time, time comes, I Surge again to the other side and then the Spider will get lured under the Big Spider. So here I am luring the other one. And there you go. So I've just used Surge, and uh, yep, and that one got absorbed as well. So that's how I get rid of the spiders um, by using Surge. I just tag them. I don't try and lure them to Araxa straight away because that's just a hassle, and I just use Surge just at that right time. So this is the fourth phase, Araxi. Uh, this is where I usually struggle after about 150% enrage because my method doesn't tend to work very well because I'm just simply not good enough to beat 160% enrage with Skythe. I might have more luck with, um, I might have more luck with, um, what's it, uh, range. Now, I played this whole fight while the whole, uh, the camera was zoomed in, and that's something that happens at Araxi, and you have to fix it before you fight Araxo again. It's kind of annoying. Um, I didn't remember to do that in this skill, so everything is really zoomed in. I've just zoomed out there, and I remembered it. Again, no anticipation of freedom, so I'm suffering damage. I need to improve that part. And prayer switching is interesting. So you can see that white little bit is the mage, um, and then the green blob is the green uh, range attack. You want to pray mage by default if you're not very good at uh, tanking, Sorry, if you're not very good at prayer switching. And you want to stand one step away from Araxa, or he will use Mage and Melee, which has a different way of praying, but I prefer not to do risk that. I prefer to just stand one step away and prayer switch. And you can see I just used Devotion, so I was able to cancel a lot of his hits. Every single time, just be aware that the blob, the red black acid blob, can reach you and attack you. So just be aware of that. And uh, there we go. And you can see that, you know, it's not the perfect kill. I used a lot of food, uh, a lot of brews as well. It's not efficient, and I need to improve, obviously. Um, but basically, that's how I do all my kills. I get about five or six or seven kills if I if I was to try a bit further with um, Araxel. But other than that, um, yeah, I hope that made sense. And if you have any questions, just... or Please, if you have any suggestions for me to get better, please post down in the uh, description below. I mean, on the com comments below. Thanks, guys.